Welcome back guys to more dinosaur sculpting tutorials. Today we're going to talk about the legs and the feet. Mostly the feet because I've already done a tutorial on how to sculpt dinosaur legs. So I'm going to link that down in the description if you want more details on how to sculpt a dinosaur leg. Otherwise, I thought that we would begin with just showing you some common mistakes that people make when they sculpt dinosaurs legs. I'm just gonna bring up an old piece of art that I created. So let's take a look. Common mistakes. The first common mistake is not adding the skeleton structure. You can see here it just looks like a sh like slimy shape. It isn't any skeleton structure as a base. And the other one is not adding or don't thinking basically about these as separate and nice shapes that flow together as one big shape because this is just one big shape thrown together very quickly so you didn't take enough time on the base shape you need to spend more time and then on the leg here connect correct anatomy that was all okay guys so now we have watched a lot of common mistakes and now i thought we would take a look at reference and then we're gonna jump right into the sculpting. I can, can't uh, show you the reference because I don't own any of the footage that I'm using as reference, but I can tell you guys the different kind of animals that I'm using for reference. I'm using ostrich, I'm using emu, cassowary, crocodile, different kind of lizards, and I'm also using, of course, reference from the Jurassic World movies and park movies. Let's get this like dinosaur look a little bit easier. And last thing is, really look at the ostrich leg, how the muscle structure is built on the ostrich and the skeleton structure, because it's really important to create a realistic looking dinosaur. First stage in sculpting is creating the basic shapes. So that's what we're gonna do. So, basic shapes, the basic shapes. I'm gonna start with basic shape. Like this, and just adding another cylinder, just scaling it downwards at the one side like this, and just duplicating it, and just connecting it to the like cylindrical shape at the middle. Then I'm just gonna very simply add more cylindrical shapes. Just make the shape like for the skeleton structure right here. Then I think I'm going to add a circle like this. Adding the circle, making sure that it's a nice connecting point between the two cylindrical shapes. And just making sure it's a little bit more top heavy, as you can see right there. Adding another circle and doing the same thing for the upper part of the leg like that. Then I'm just going to add the little toe now, I think. Just duplicating, duplicating that toe and just putting it on the side. Then I'm just going to merge all of these shapes together. You see how they're merged, then I can smooth them out and just make them blend together more nicely. Let's now use these very basic shapes that we created to create some more complex shapes and more nice looking shapes that actually look like dinosaur uh, material, you know? So let's do it. So I'm just starting with adding like the skeleton base and the tendons right here on the foot. As you can see, there are three of them, going from each toe up to the lower part of the leg. Then there is a fourth toe that also needs some tendons later on. And back here, I'm just adding the skeleton, making sure all these landmarks are in, and just making sure the planes on the sides are well indicated. Making sure the foot, or I mean, not foot, fat pads are indicated at the bottom of the feet. Right here, just indicating the skeleton structure even stronger, adding a little bit more like a toe shape uh, to the front, uh, right where the claws are going to sit. Adding this like wrinkle right here. Super important you add this wrinkle because it helps with this like ostrich feeling. Here, just indicating the bone structure. 
You have to make sure that you use reference as we just talked about. Use reference always, just indicating the calf muscle. Uh, right here, uh, you're showing the overall leg, and I have a tutorial on how to sculpt dinosaur leg. So if you want to see this process more in depth, uh, you can go check that out. I'm going to be linking that in the description, that video. So we're just gonna very quickly uh, walk through that process, and now we're gonna smooth out the entire sculpture. Something like that. Yeah, now I'm just uh, changing some very, very small proportions, just tweaking the entire leg, indicating the muscles a little bit sharper, all this different kind of stuff that's super important. So just refining it. You can see the little toe right here. Just adding some more volume to make it blend better into the overall uh, leg or foot structure. Connects to the bone. Make sure that you indicate the bone structure a little bit. All these like wrinkles I add, make sure that you add these wrinkles on the foot because it's really going to help with this animal animal uh, like feeling. Now we're going to add claws. So I'm just using a sphere and then quickly uh, changing the shape of it with the move uh, tool or move brush. Just changing the shape very very quickly. As you can see, just making this claw-like shape like this and making sure there are planes uh, right here, indicating the planes. Just adding the claw. Uh, and making it downwards like this. Just placing it in right now. And then I'm just going to duplicate the claw and place it in all the other toes. Like that, and now we're just adding some more volume to the overall body, just adding some uh, few details, not details, but few extra shapes here and there. Like here, I'm just sharpening all the shapes up, making sure that they are well indicated so it looks more like a refined sculpture. I really think it helps, because adding these shapes really make your sculpture stand out a little bit more and make it more believable and realistic especially when you add light like in your render engine all these shapes going to take up the light and really add life to your character or creature indicating the muscles and muscle tendons Make sure that you remember muscle, skeleton, fat and skin, all these layers that add up. And here I'm just indicating the leg, leg muscles a little bit uh, more. I never really got happy with the leg muscles on this sculpture. Uh, didn't have the time I needed to really like fix them and make them look really really good. But I think they turned out okay in the end. Here I'm just uh, subtracting a little bit of shape from the underneath of the claw right there, so they actually fit inside of the like foot. And then just now I'm just gonna add more polya and gonna sh add all these small details, like small wrinkles, sharpen them up, and adding all these small shapes. Just one by one, it's just going through them and making sure that all the shapes looks nicely put together. 
just making sure that the all these shapes are getting more refined and cleaner shapes because cleaner is usually better so just cleaning up the shapes making them more simple and then adding more shape on top of that but that was basically the process of sculpting this beast of a leg okay guys we've created a dinosaur foot and leg so if you want more content like this please let me know and otherwise i just want to thank you guys for watching i really appreciate it and have a nice one and see you next time